front where it says aims real big. Hi everybody and welcome to Shawnee State Park out here in the beautiful Laurel Highlands, the, the Allegheny Mountains. We're just off of US Route 30 and we're not far from the town of Bedford. And we're not all that far from Altoona as well, about 34 miles or so. Anyway, I'm here today to do my video and I have brought with me my Pennsylvania State Parks and State Forest Passport book. But not only are we doing a video of the park, we are camping here this weekend. It's picture perfect out here. I mean, you couldn't ask for better weather here, especially at Lake Shawnee Lake, if I can say that right. And, well, we've come prepared to grill. There are plenty of picnic areas out here, plenty of picnic tables, grills, and there's a campsite that we're staying at tonight, as I had mentioned, and I'm excited for that. Anyway, we thought it would be a nice little thing to do, have some fun and relax, and, well, without further ado, there is the little segment for Shawnee State Park, and you'll see I already have my stamp in here. You'll see later in the video where I pick that up and put it in the book from the park office. And for once, the little box with the stamps in it was completely full. Way to go, Shawnee State Park. Thank you. Anyway, info about Shawnee State Park. Highlight, lake and mountain views. Shawnee's 451-acre lake is a popular place to swim, fish, kayak, and view wildlife. Bird watchers often enjoy watching species such as osprey or bald eagles fishing at Shawnee Lake. The park lies just off of U.S. Route 30, the Lincoln Highway, which roughly follows the Forbes Trail that was the main highway between Fort Bedford and Fort Ligonier in the 1700s. Biking, hiking, fishing, hunting, and disc golf are also popular. So, not the largest state park out there, but that's okay, because some of these parks I've been going to, wow, there's so many acres of land, it takes hours to do that. But it's worth it, because our state parks are pretty beautiful out here. Here we are at the Shawnee State Park office. This little section right here is open. Got to get the stamp for the book. And fortunately for me, there it is there, the little container with the passport stamps in there. And it is completely full of them. Fantastic. Look at that. There we go. Perfect. Here's a look at the one swimming area. We're up on top of this hill. The beach area is way down there. You can see the sand, they groomed it real nice. They have that fence there. I guess they only want you to swim in one part, but you can see people out there enjoying the water. They have little markers out there so you don't go beyond the swimming area. But it's a little bit of a hike. We're way up here. The beach is there and you got this gravel pit you can or dr gravel drive you can walk up. You can't park down there. I guess those are restrooms there. And you have to park all the way up here. Which really isn't that big of a deal if you don't mind taking a walk. But if you do though, this might not be the best uh spot for you because there's another spot that's up like this too but it is beautiful and you get a nice big view of the lake you have the roadway over there where we were camping we're just past that roadway up behind those trees there and that was a lot of fun there's people kayaking out there on the lake today it's beautiful What the heck, it's so nice out. Let's take a little walk down towards this beach area real quick and I'll show it to you up close. I don't think you get a fair assessment of it from way up there up on top of the hill. So, Plus I need exercise, I always do. <laughs> Best way to do it is to walk here at a beautiful state park. Really get to experience it as much as we can. As we take a walk down the gravel driveway here, I guess those are restrooms, yeah, and showers there. Maybe that, maybe that other thing was just a little restroom, but the big ones are here, probably a little office. You might be able to rent stuff there. I know it 
what was it, Keystone State Park. You could rent beach balls and fun things for the beach. So that's cool. But yeah, then here's a look at the beach itself. You got all the sand over here. You got the fence up, so you have to go into the water through that little opening right there, which is okay. No pets. No big deal. Yeah, there's the beach here. The sand, they groomed it real nice. You could tell they came through here and cleaned it up real nice. It is the beginning of the summer season. A lot of people out there swimming. I can't imagine how the water feels. It's been pretty hot the last uh, week or so here in Pennsylvania. It's been pretty hot. Somebody has a dog out there. I thought they said no pets. Oh well, just make sure your pet is cleaned up after. But yeah, it's it's nice out here. A lot of people enjoying the beach. Perfect day to be out here. It's like 80 degrees right now. Uh, now the fun part of walking back up the hill to the car. I say that sarcastically. I can't even see the car from here. It's up there somewhere. <laughs> that's the only downfall. But that's all right. It's worth the walk out here. How nice this place is. And uh, we'll check out other parts of the lake too. So we'll get there in a moment. First, I got to get all the way back up the hill to the car. I know I'm up near that little... That little stand right there with the info on it. So we'll just cut through the grass here. Whew. All right, now we're here at another beach area. Can't go swimming here though. Can't go fishing either. However, you can rent a boat here. They have a boat rental, they have snacks, drinks. Here are the little boats you can rent, little paddle boats. Very cool. You can rent little fishing boats too. Kayaks, they have all kinds of kayaks over there too. Water's pretty deep here too. You can see the seaweed growing up. But that's really cool how you can rent these uh, paddle boats. Even those little boats there, little row boats. Very cool. They have plenty of parking here too. Plenty. And they have it for electric cars too. Fantastic. But yeah, plenty of parking. Great access to the lake here. They even have a, a grill there, I guess for the people working here. But they might make hamburgers or hot dogs, I would imagine. Good little place to sit. Enjoy the views of the lake here. Very nice. Gotta bring that inflatable boat out one of these days. Get a nice view of the lake when you're driving over it too. Let me put the window down there for a better shot. Look at that though. Right over the little bridge here. The lake goes on to that, looks like a dam up there. And just a little good old road. We're heading back towards the campground where we spent the night and the park office where we got our we got our stamp oh in the parks region number three headquarters cool it's an old barn yeah it's kind of bizarre but i like it yep some awesome views of the lake and there's another bridge we're about to go over too up ahead There's a camping, well, picnic area there, not a camping area, but picnic area. I know, by the water. Mm -hmm. Boy, would that be fun. Anyway, here's another view from this little bridge here as we go over. Just a 
taking our time. Very, very nice. And the drive again is just, it's a very nice drive. There are plenty of picnic areas around this park too. I've, we've seen a few graduation parties and uh, well, it's just a beautiful day for it. They have covered picnic areas and shelters too. So even if it's raining, you can still enjoy it as best as you can. Anyway, I'll see you down at the lake again. Look at the colors here, boy, is it beautiful out. We're at another picnic site, camping site, well, not camping, but they do have that building across the roadway up there. That is the group tent organization building, organizing, organized tent group building, I guess. We'll go out on that dock in just a moment, but yeah, a great place to sit, relax. You can launch a boat, a kayak, you can fish here. Just kick back and relax if you want to. It's beautiful out here. There's the main highway there. Little bridge you can sneak under with a little boat. Like a kayak. Just a really perfect day out here. Really good, perfect day. I'll say this. This water goes down, and it goes down fast. Where the grass ends, it just looks like it drops because that you can't even see the bottom. I see a lot of seaweed, but it looks like it just drops right down. That's nuts. There is a dam on the other side. I do want to check that out, so that probably has something to do with it with how high the water is. And there's a little channel back there. I want to go down the road and see what we can see on that side. Don't know what's over there, but we'll go check it out real quick. So why don't we go ahead and do that? But first, let's go take a walk out on this little pier. All right, let's take a walk down here. Go down the steps. There's some info on whether or not you just saw an eagle or not. turkey vultures huh yeah we've seen a couple of those out here today anyway take a walk out here great spot to fish Breeze feels amazing out here today, too. All right, now that we checked out the little pier, I wanna go over to that other side of that channel and see what's over there. Don't know if there is anything, but I wanna see it and share it with you guys.
go over the bridge. See the end of the lake there. Just curious what's up this way. That little channel, we saw, I see cars parked there, so maybe it's not a whole lot. Maybe it's just that little spot right here. I don't know. Okay, as we work our way down the road, I noticed the lake does come over here. Oh, there's another boat launch. Aha, uh -huh. gotcha. Good old country road. this spot here and check it out then we're gonna go to the dam here's another boat launch here through that little channel that we saw we were in a parking area over there but it didn't really lead to anything so we drove further up and the channel was behind this island right here but you see how much it opens up again you can launch these boats here there's the boat launch there, a little dock. I see a grill and a picnic table, so good place to grill and uh, picnic. I like the tree just in the middle of the lake there. Okay, so we tried going to the dam, but the road is closed. It said do not enter, authorized personnel only. So I don't know that we can actually go down to the dam, unfortunately. But as we were trying to find another way there, which that road was also closed, maybe they're doing maintenance. There's probably a reason why it's closed and you can't get to it right now. Uh, we passed a little parking lot that said scenic view. So, figured we'd check that out. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think every view here is scenic. I guess this is the trail here. Seems to be a trail that goes into the woods there. Oh, this goes all the way down. Please do not shortcut this switchback trail. I see. Well, we'll go down to the water's edge and check it out. See you down at the bottom. Well, we're down by the water's edge. Water's a lot more shallow here than it was on the other side. It, it's really shallow for a while. And it actually looked like the dam was straight ahead. So maybe we can get to it from here. Not really sure about that scenic view it was talking about, unless you stood right up there at the fence. But you couldn't really see a whole lot. But we'll walk this to the dam if that's even possible. It looked like it wasn't too far away. Oh yeah, there it is, right ahead. Perfect. And there's tables on the other side. Maybe they're doing something over there. They didn't want people going down there, but this trail we were allowed to go down. So that works. Alright, well I've reached... Uh... A good spot in the trail here the lake ends here but the trail continues around it and i believe it goes up through the trees and there it is there's the dam right there so we did make it kind of it's out there pretty far and it actually looks like somebody's fishing looks like somebody's standing there i can't really tell Maybe they just don't want you to drive down there, but that is cool. 
and it's a great place here. I mean, look, you have a picnic bench here. You can sit down here. They have a trash can here so you can keep the park clean. Obviously, park personnel are able to drive down here. And you do get some really good views of the lake from over here, too. And you're away from a lot of things. A couple people just came by, but that's been it. Great little escape right here. The water's so shallow here, too. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we have a little dragonfly friend. Where'd he go? Flew away. Oh, there he is. He's back. <laughs> Flying all around. Enjoying a nice day at the park. I've had a great time. There's Shawnee State Park in our Pennsylvania State Parks and Forest Passport. And I think this would be the perfect place to go ahead and put our Shawnee State Park sticker in. Just like that. Done. All right. As I make my way back to the car, I might as well end the video here. This has been a really fun adventure. Didn't go swimming today. Didn't really have plans to swim. We brought stuff to swim, but didn't because we slept in a little bit at the campsite, which was nice because we didn't even have to check out of there until 3 p.m., but we didn't stay till 3. We checked out a lot earlier. Leave no trace. Clean up after yourself. Don't want to leave any trace that you were there. You want to keep it nice and clean, especially for the next guest. And, well, it's just been really nice out here. Perfect day as summer starts. A lot of graduation parties going on. A lot of the picnic groves here have parties going on. And, uh, well, this is a great place to do it. In the middle of the mountains here, the Laurel Highlands, away from the big cities. Heck, if you need anything from the store, you have to go a few miles to just get to the closest Dollar General. And if you really need everything, go to Bedford, which is... About seven, eight miles away from here. It's a little bit of a drive, but take Route 30 right into town, get right past Hokey G's where I did a video there and that old Ames. And you'll find just about everything you need out there, especially with that Walmart. And there's a grocery store. And you're not all that far from Altoona, to be honest. About 33 miles from Altoona. So, very nice. Great park, love it. Looking forward to all the other parks, too. We're just getting started. We have a lot to cover this year. And I'm sure we'll be doing them well into next year, too. Whew, that's a little thing. It is a scenic view at the price of climbing up this hill. But if you don't mind it, it's not that bad. Anyway, that was fun. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did... Feel free to give the video a thumbs up. And on that note, I'm taking off. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. Stay safe out there, too. We're going to head over to the Flight 93 Memorial. Mary's always wanted to see it. I'm not going to do a video there, though. Out of respect, I'm not, I, I choose not to do a video there. You go there to pay respects. I'm not going to do any video or photos from there. I might do a couple photos and post them online, but that's about it. But that's a place to just be quiet, respect what the Unsung Heroes did on that day in 2001. So, anyway, until next time, take care, stay awesome again. Bye, everybody.